let's delve once again into the incredible, multifaceted, miraculous cycle of life in Panama. This plant is called a croton, and it's very interested in protecting itself from predators. That's why it pumps sugar for this ant to feast upon. It pumps a lot of sugar for a lot of ants, all of whom now become a kind of citizen militia to protect the croton. The ants are ferocious, taking on rivals much bigger than themselves to ensure the viability of their sugar fix. Let's watch the ant make short work of this butterfly caterpillar. As you can see, the ant is... Um, the ant, um, the ant seems to be cohabitating with the caterpillar, letting it munch on leaves. Gee, I wonder what gives. Aha! The butterfly caterpillar actually emits sugar secretions of its own, just like the plant, and for the same reason, as a tasty bribe. The ants stay well-fed, and they in turn do for the caterpillars what they do for the plant. They protect the caterpillar just as long as the sugar keeps succumbing. I mean, look at this. The President of the United States should get protection like this from the Secret Service. If the ants ever stray and the caterpillar needs them, that sound just might be the caterpillar speaking ant language saying, get over here, predator, inbound. Like when an assassin bug arrives on the scene, the guard ant is ready. The assassin bug means to skewer the caterpillar and suck it dry. But the ant says, ah, I don't think so. Take a hike, pal. A parasitic wasp doesn't get much farther. It gets double teamed on its way to oblivion. When the caterpillar calls for help, help arrives. This is natural symbiosis at its finest, creatures adapting themselves to help each other survive. The ants protect and defend, and for that, they get fed. The caterpillar provides the free meal and gets a cadre of insect warriors that would do a samurai proud. And so, it all fits together like a cosmic jigsaw puzzle.